Well, any farmer who is on the internet knows the great thing about the web is that it gives you access to the world. However, the problem is the web is that it gives you access to the world. Who needs a world of information? We only need the bit that we need. And that's why we check in with Andrew Campbell at Farms.com periodically to help us make the online world a little bit smaller and more useful. What's up this week, Andrew? Kevin, every year a farmer is faced with the decision of what kind of seed to put into the ground. That decision is only going to get more difficult as companies introduce new traits to the market, so you've got to decide which variety is going to be best for you. I think the Yield Data Center is going to help here. Just go to yielddata.farms.com and you'll be able to make your decision based on what's likely the number one factor, how it yields. It's a fairly easy site to navigate. You've just got to select which province you want data from, then what crop, and then what company. From there, you can see the person and place where those plots were planted and on what soil so you can co compare to ground that you've got at home. Something else I want to point out is the multimedia. There are video and audio clips from some of the companies so you can get an idea of what each company thinks is their strength with some of their top varieties. The nice thing about those videos is they're very short and to the point. And finally, you can get links to data from organizations like the Canola Council or a Ministry of Agriculture. It gives you an idea of what those groups are seeing on their own plots. So the key things, again, I like about this website is it's easy to get the information I'm looking for. It's got data from many of the leading companies and links to more data. And third, I can get the sales pitch from a lot of these seed companies each in under a minute. Great. As always, thank you very much, Andrew. And again, that site he's talking about, yielddata.farms.com. If you're looking for additional videos about online and other electronic activity relevant to farmers, you can also try eHarvest.com.